did you know that it is hashtag Plastic Free July? Well, you do now. Wouldn't it be great if you are planning a wedding or a funeral or any kind of thing that involves people coming together, maybe eating and using plastic, wouldn't it be great if that day didn't contribute massively to that huge continent of plastic that's floating about in the ocean? You can do this quite easily without having to go full on eco-warrior. There are little tiny tweaks that you can make. So for example, you could go all glasto on us and uh, decide that you're not going to have any single-use plastic bottles um, or cups or that kind of thing. In fact, why not stop worrying about the whole plastic cutlery and plates and all that kind of thing and just hire in crockery and cutlery. It's a much nicer eating experience anyway and then somebody takes it all away again at the end of the day and you don't have to feel that you've contributed to that awful global stuff. Also, do what you can to avoid things like cellophane wrapping on things, uh, plastic boxes, plastic, all that plastic kind of packaging that you get on so many things, and also the plastic decor things, you know, the things that go on tables and you think, oh, that's going to look pretty, but actually it's really killing the planet, guys. So go for things that are either reusable, jam jars full of pretty flowers from the garden, that kind of thing, or again, hire in some people to do your decor and they can take it away and it's all eco-friendly and everything is fabulous. And here's another idea. If you wanted to take the little eco thing a little bit further, you could kill two birds with one stone by, rather than having plastic glasses at your wedding, for example, you could give out reusable cups and or straws that your guests could use and they could be their favours. So you could have got two things in at the same time. So just some ideas for Plastic Free July. Let me know some of your ideas as well.